the year is almost over and we still have a bunch more sneaker releases to get through for the next couple of weeks. So in today's video, we're going to be covering the best or basically the rest of the Air Jordan releases for the month of December. The very first pair we're going to talk about today is a pair I actually have in hand that released yesterday, which I uh, picked up earlier. They are the Air Jordan 1 bread toe lows so this sneaker released yesterday on nike's website and i'm curious to hear from you guys in the comments did you guys take a w did you guys take an l this was a december 8th release usually we don't see release dates for jordan 1 lows and jordan 1 mids and that's something we're going to be getting a couple of times throughout this video you guys already know all about the bread toe high air jordan ones and uh, the low top is honestly pretty pretty nice it's a really good alternative and uh, if you wanted to pick up a really good Air Jordan 1 low that is going to be super versatile this is going to probably be one of the best releases you can buy the resale prices aren't too crazy for this shoe at the moment so if you were thinking about buying them for yourself maybe as like a Christmas gift or something like that definitely something you might want to consider I don't know if these have a Canadian release date officially just yet but we haven't seen them come up on Nike Canada's website I believe they might be dropping in stores and some Nike stores because that's what they did for the mochas they just randomly released them in certain Nike stores in Toronto. So we're going to go to the mall a couple of times this month to see what they have sitting. Of course, if you guys like those vlogs, make sure you guys stay tuned for those. I'll talk about more about this shoe in an upcoming video, probably later tonight. The next Jordan one we're talking about is going to be a grade school exclusive. There's going to be a couple of women's and GS sizes we're going to talk about in today's video. I won't get into them for too, too long since I know most of my audience is guys who would not be able to fit these at all but hey if you were looking for a gift for a loved one i still want to cover these shoes for you these are the air jordan one mid ugly christmas sweater and these sneakers were originally slated for a november 30th release date however it got pushed back to december 9 which is today one of my biggest pet peeves that nike does is they don't release like festive items way ahead of the actual day like the release valentine's day sneakers like weeks after valentine's day or halloween themed sneakers into november it just doesn't make sense to me so i wish they released these earlier so people could get more use out of an ugly christmas sneaker uh but hey better late than never this is going to be releasing for 105 us dollars so a bit more expensive than the uh the bread toe lows that i just showed you guys next up is probably going to be the biggest release for a general release air jordan for the month of december and just for the month for the year for the year in general you guys probably know what I'm about to say it is going to be the Air Jordan 11 cool gray Air Jordan 11s have always been one of the most mass-produced sneakers every single year and you guys know they always have to do that holiday colorway so the cool gray 11s are finally getting another uh, another time to shine in the sneaker world for a lot of people this is their favorite Air Jordan 11 and so if you guys actually want these sneakers I would definitely recommend you put in the effort to cop them because Although the quantity of these sneakers going to be produced is going to be like astronomical, don't get it twisted. The demand is also just as high. If you guys know anything about Air Jordan 11s for the past few years, you guys know that uh, people just love them. Part of another reason why these sneakers sell out is because they are released right before the Christmas time, Christmas season, holiday gift giving season. And so when you can pick up a hyped heat release like this and give it as a gift it's a really nice gift to receive on top of the already massive quantity that is set to release on december 11th for 225 us dollars nike has gone ahead and released these sneakers early twice already in america my american sneaker heads out there if you got them early consider yourself lucky because not every country in the world has a sneakers app in canada we got sneakers but it's just a go on nike at 6 a.m enter a raffle and see if you won 15 minutes later that's our version of sneakers other countries have sneakers as well but they didn't get early access so if you were from america and you actually got your pair in early let me know in the comment section down below how you're feeling them how you like them are, are they living up to your expectations and have you even worn them yet or are you gonna wait to bust them out later maybe in the spring months these sneakers might still sit in some areas just because of how much quantity is being produced but do your best to not pay resale for this shoe just because of so many pairs are gonna be out there 
there on the market and I'm sure they're gonna restock them at least once or twice over the next couple of months. Next up we got some Air Jordan 1 mids and lows and a lot more heat on the way but before we get to them I want to give a huge thank you to our sponsor for today's video The Ridge. The Ridge makes some amazing wallets. This is their carbon fiber one I have right here and I use this thing on the daily. It can hold up to 12 cards and uh, I hardly carry cash anymore anyways but if I do want to carry some cash there's also a money clip add-on you can get as well. If you wanted to get a gift for yourself or for a loved one make sure you guys use my code sneaker talk to get 10% off or a discount on your order. If you were slumped on some gift giving ideas for the holiday season you know someone with a wallet falling apart or you know someone embracing a more minimal lifestyle or just want to give them a cool wallet the Ridge makes some really really nice wallet. Next up let's talk about an Air Jordan 1 low which might also be gifted to people just like the Ridge wallet. We're talking about the University Blue Air Jordan 1 low. There's one thing I really like about this shoe and there's one thing I really don't like about the shoe. The thing I really like about this shoe is the colorway. It is awesome. It's a really good colorway for the Air Jordan 1 low. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Racer Blue Jordan 1 mids that released earlier this year which actually sold really well. The uh, the downside to this shoe is it is going to be a woman's exclusive. So if you have a loved one out there who just wants to get their feet wet and get their first pair of Jordan 1 lows this is definitely an option you might want to gift them. And these are set to release on December 14th for a hundred US dollars. Yes that's right you heard a confirmed release date. Uh, very strange for when it comes to lows and mids but I warned you earlier apparently Nike is setting release dates for these kinds of silhouettes now. As per usual though it is an Air Jordan 1 low so take the release date with a grain of salt because we really haven't had release dates in the past so if you're from Canada or a different country I would check with your local retailer to see if you end up getting these sneakers sent to your stores a little earlier than the December 14th American release date. Another Air Jordan releasing on December 14th are these University Red Air Jordan 1 mids. So this is also going to be a woman's exclusive colorway retailing for 135 US dollars. The colorway is very bold and very festive. This is also supposed to be an SE or special edition release so expect a little more premium quality materials on the sneaker but also expect them to be producing less pairs because that's what they do for the SEs. They don't create as much pairs as a regular GR. Continuing our trend with the woman slash GS sizing exclusive sneakers, we have the Air Jordan 4 where the wild things are. I honestly think these sneakers are an abomination. They're just, they, they make my eyes hurt to look at but I'm obviously not the target demographic. This is a kid sneaker. Retail price is going to be 150 US dollars. Very high up there for a uh, sneaker which I have no intention to ever look at once again after we do this video. We have a release date for December 15th and originally they were set for November 5th but they got pushed back so they released next week. If you want to give these as a gift to someone who really loves to wear stuffed animals on their feet this is the shoe for them. All right, let's take a chill pill. Let's, let's let's not roast the sneakers anymore. Let's get to some actual sneakers I genuinely like and I'm looking forward to actually trying to buy for retail. We have the Air Jordan 1 High Gore-Tex. So this is the light bone colorway and I've seen images online of other Gore-Tex sneakers coming out this year or it came out earlier this year. But I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of this colorway. It looks super, super wearable. And uh, because it is Gore-Tex, it's gonna be heavy duty, weather resistant, rugged, and ready to embrace all the elements outside in the cold. Now, hopefully it can handle like a Canadian winter because I'd love to use these as like my Jordan 1s for the winter. These are set to release on December 16th, a Thursday, and a retail price of 200 US dollars is slated, which is a higher retail price for this shoe, which makes sense because they're going for more premium or just different materials. The Gore-Tex obviously comes in at a premium. Next up, we have the Arkeo Brown Air Jordan 1 High. These sneakers are absolutely phenomenal. I'm a huge fan of this pair. These are set to release on December 18th, a Saturday, our typical release days for Jordans. And uh, the retail price is 170 US dollars, likely to be 230 Canadian plus tax. Now, although I'm not typically a huge fan of Jordan ones that have a really wild color palette of like a bunch of different colors on it at once, I think these actually have a pretty succinct aesthetic to it where it looks really clean. It looks like you can put together an outfit for these without too many issues. I love the brown hits, I love the white contrast stitching on the shoe it definitely gives the sneaker more of a handcrafted DIY kind of look. The hits of like maroon and green on the shoe are perfect for the fall winter months however one thing I don't really like about the shoe is the Air Jordan Wings logo how they it looks like like a, a patch 
uh, stitched onto the shoe. I wish it was going for that debossed kind of look, but with it having this patch stitched in kind of look, it does continue with that theme of like a DIY handcrafted kind of feel. Now, when it comes to the resale value for this sneaker, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this one. This might be one of those Jordan ones that just sit for a couple of weeks because it's a little harder to wear, a little more bizarre. But if this Jordan one high ends up being on the more limited side, I could see it having some resale value of like 20% over the retail price of wherever you're from. So if you want the shoe, definitely worth copying for retail. I don't think this is a shoe that's going to go below retail. Jordan ones, as you guys know, are relatively a safe sneaker to invest into. So if you change your mind on them down the road, you can probably sell them for what you paid. On to December 22nd, where we have probably one of the most like teased Jordan ones of the year. We've seen images of these floating around all throughout 2021. We're talking about the Atmosphere Air Jordan 1 High. So from my understanding, this is going to be a woman's exclusive Air Jordan 1. But if you are a guy who wants to go after this shoe, make sure you buy them in one and a half sizes up. The colorway is really clean. You have basically like a pink version of the Air Jordan 1 High bread toe. And when it comes to the spring summer months, this sneaker is going to be definitely a trendy, trendy sneaker to wear. These are again releasing on December 22nd for 170 US dollars. It is a woman's exclusive. So expect there to be a little little hmm. it, it might be harder to cop it just because they might not produce as many compared to a full family sizing kind of ordeal best of luck to everybody who wants to buy this sneaker i for one i'm going to try and buy them and of course get the review out for you guys as soon as i can this next sneaker is a little painful to talk about because it's it's what could have been you know it's what could have been we have the air jordan 4 bread golf edition yeah, the only golf I play is mini golf, but if you are a golfer, I'm sure this is a sneaker that has your attention. It might even be a must cop for you. It might even be one of your favorite sneakers that released this year if you're a huge Jordan fan who loves playing golf. These are releasing on December 22nd for a retail price of 220 US dollars. A little high up there. Uh, I forget what the retail prices for Jordan 4s regularly are, but one thing I would love to see is, I'm sure some people are going to do this, they're gonna buy this shoe and they're gonna like take the outsole part and like deconstruct it a bit or just wear them as regular shoes like they're gonna convert these to a regular air jordan 4 bread i honestly might do that i regret selling my pair of jordan 4 breads a long time ago the only downside of these is they don't have the nike air on the back which a lot of people really love it has the jump man instead but yo it, th th this is a fire fire pair i wish they released the regular ones this year too but we can't have it all next up we have probably the most hyped up air jordan one for the holiday season we got the air jordan one bread patent leather og highs oh my god you guys know i love the breads you guys know I love sneakers that look amazing on display sometimes. This is probably one of those shoes that I probably wouldn't wear. This is more of a display sneaker. The shoe looks amazing. I'm sure it's going to sell out. I'm sure it's going to have resale value just because of the colorway alone. If I were to buy the shoe, it would probably be a shoe I keep on display for a long, long time. I just really don't like the way patent leather Jordans feel on feet after you wear them a while. The creasing really makes the toe box look really bad and it does hurt your your like toes over time. At least that's how I feel. But I would make an exception to wear the shoe if it were for like a special event or like a red carpet, blue carpet kind of thing. Like some cool event where the, the shine really, really pops and it's going to be a big deal that you wear them. I'm not just going to wear these to like Tim Hortons or something, you feel me? Swinging back over to some Air Jordan 11 news, we got the Air Jordan 11 Adapt University Blues. Now these are not set to have a specific release date yet. Uh, it's just a rumor for December, but it's probably going to get pushed back. Actually, I think this is a shoe that's going to release in December, maybe at the very end of the year. Uh, but the retail price is going to be steep. We're talking real steep, 500 US dollars. So if you like the Air Jordan 11 Legend Blue that I believe released back in 2014, I think that's when I was working at Full Locker back in the day. This is a shoe that is right up your alley if you never want to tie your laces again. I think it's really cool. That retail price point is just so steep for me. And before we get to the final pair of the video, make sure you guys comment down below what you guys think about the December releases for Jordan brand this month. Are there any releases you're looking forward to copping? Anything you're planning to resell? The last Jordan we're going to talk about is the Air Jordan 1 Low 
OG X Soulfly. Now we don't have a specific release date for these just yet, so uh, stay tuned to Instagram or all your favorite sneaker blogs and stuff for an official release date. We're looking at 150 US dollars for the retail price. I am not a fan of these sneakers at all. I feel like this is the shoe I would probably find in like a Nicki Minaj music video. It probably is gonna have some resale value because Soulfly does carry some weight to it, but for me, it's not even worth retail price. If you guys want more sneaker news in your algorithm, hit that like button down below, subscribe for more videos, and a huge thank you again to The Ridge for sponsoring today's video. If you guys need a nice new wallet for the holiday season or want to gift it to a homie, make sure you guys use code SneakerTalk. Happy holidays. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.